Hop Kids, I'm Courtney and I am so glad that you are here today. And I have a friend here with me too. Hi P-Hop friends, it's Tanner and I just want to give a big shout out to all of the P-Hop Kids. And I just want to say I miss you all. Bye! Everybody, I miss you. We miss you so much. This is our second week of the series called Doors where we are going to look at how in our life we have choices we can make and we must always try to make the right choices that God wants us to make. Now let's listen to our lesson. Hey guys, I'm Amy. Welcome to our new series called Doors. We're so glad that you're here joining us this week. In this series, we're learning all about choices and how the choices we make can affect our lives. The doors you see throughout this series will represent choices. Some of these doors will lead to bad choices, while others will lead to good. The Bible tells us that when we put our trust in God, He will show us which door to go through. To help us better understand this, we are going to sing a song about our memory verse, which is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all that you do, and He will show you which path to take. Let's sing it together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. He will show you which path to take. Whoa. worship song teaches us that we can look to God for answers when making choices. Sometimes it can be hard to know what the right choice may be in certain situations, but the Bible tells us that we can always ask God for help. Now, we're going to watch our Bible story where we'll learn about how we can make the right choice. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. Hey -o. Whoop. Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! 
About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, Yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him and said, you really are the son of God. What a great Bible story. This Bible story helped us to learn more about the significance of our choices and how every choice we make has an impact on other parts of our lives. Now we're going to watch a short story about a kid who has the opportunity to choose between the right choice or the wrong choice. Let's watch and see what happens. Hey guys, I'm Pastor Steve. Welcome back to our series called Doors. Now in this series, we're learning all about the power and the choices we make every single day. And every single day, you make a lot of choices. Some of those choices are a big deal, some aren't, but there are power in the choices that we make. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about faith. You know what faith is? Faith is when you trust something or someone. It's when you believe in something, even if you can't see it or even if you don't completely understand it. Like, for example, when you get in your car with your parents, you trust that the car is gonna go, right? You may not understand how it all works, but you have faith that it's gonna work. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about choosing the door of faith or choosing the door of unbelief. But before we get started, I wanted to perform a little song that I wrote for you guys, and I'm really proud of it. I, I think you're gonna like it. I, uh, I spent a lot of time working on it, so uh, here, here it goes. I have, <clears throat> I have faith, faith. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> I, 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 I got it. Here we go. I have. Guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. It's. I've had a cold this week, and this I don't know. This room is not really built for my voice. I I don't know what's happening. Look, watch this short story. We come back. Maybe I'll try it again. Watch this. You were right beside me every day Even when it feels like everything's going wrong I can look up to you, God, and find my strength Oh, 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 your love is lifting me Above the raging sea
Hey, well, I figured it out. I know what happened. It wasn't my voice and it wasn't my guitar. The light was out right above me and it threw me off. That's why I couldn't sing the song. Well, you know, the girl in our story today, she was having a hard time believing in her voice and really trusting the gift that God had given her. And when she finally stepped out in faith and trusted that gift, she was able then to use it the way God wanted her to. She had faith in the gifts and talents that God gave her. In our Bible story today, we saw a different element of faith. We saw Jesus on the water talking to his disciples and Peter wanted to come out and join him. Peter said, can I come out there with you? And Jesus said, yeah, come on, Peter. And Peter trusted Jesus. Peter had faith that he could do it just because Jesus said he could. So Peter steps out on the water and he's actually walking on the water. But then he took his eye off of Jesus and then he saw the waves and he, he, he could hear the wind and all of a sudden he had doubt. And when he started to have doubt, he started to sink. And Jesus reached out and grabbed him and, and saved him. Guys, when we have faith, we trust, we believe that Jesus is who he says he is. When we have faith in Jesus and in, in his word, we trust his word no matter what. Even if the circumstances around us are messed up, even if things aren't going the way we think they should, we can have faith that Jesus loves us. We can have faith and trust that his word is true. And when we do that, then he can bless us. So you can choose the door of unbelief or you can choose the door of faith and trust that Jesus is who he says he is and that he loves you and that his word is true. And when you have faith and you put your faith in something, it's not always in things you understand. Like I've got to change this light bulb and I was trying to situate these boxes because I thought maybe I could change it using these, but they're not real sturdy. I don't think I want to risk my life by climbing on these boxes. So I grabbed this ladder. This ladder is sturdy. I have faith in this ladder. And because I have faith in this ladder, I don't mind climbing it to change that light bulb because I know it'll hold me up. I trust that this ladder will work. I'm gonna change the light bulb. There we go. That's it. That's a lot better. See. I couldn't have done that stand on these boxes, and I wasn't going to because I didn't really have faith that they would hold me up, but I did in this. And guys, you're gonna be faced with choices throughout your life to either believe and have faith in Jesus and his word, or to have unbelief. I wanna encourage you to put all your faith and your trust in Jesus, because he won't let you down. His word is true. And even if you don't understand what's going on, and even if there are things about Jesus and about his word that you might not understand, you have to have faith, because that's what faith is. Faith is when you trust and you believe something, even if you can't see it, and even if you don't completely understand it. That's what faith is all about. You know, I don't think these boxes would hold me, but maybe they would. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Nope, nope. I made the right choice. I made the right choice. Love you guys. See you next time. Wow, Pastor Steve helped us to understand how important it is to make the right choice. Also, in the short film, we got to see how the choices the kid made affected their life. Just like the kid in the video, we must remember to make choices that honor God. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, what an amazing story. You honor God by choosing the right choices. So let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you are always with me and guiding me through all the choices I have to make. Please help me to make the right choices. I thank you for your unconditional love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great week.